I am Steve Walker. I run uh, Magma with Pro E Applications here at Wapaka Foundry Marinette, and I've been with the company now 22 years. Magma software is where you get into actually simulating the pouring itself. As the molten iron is poured on our molding machine, how does it pour? How does the molten iron fill this casting? The second phase of the magma simulation would be what happens when it's solidifying? What happens when it's starting from liquid and going to solid? By going through the software in different phases of the program, you're able to depict any kind of pouring related defects. We pass that along and run it out on our molding machines and then compare results and go from there. We have two cavities on a molding machine plate. We have to get iron to it. At that point, we'll put a gating system, which is just a way to get that iron into that casting. It's kind of an art to keep your pressures and your flow the way you would like it, and it's really gonna determine what kind of casting you end up with at the end. Going to layout, that's where our cut-ups and x-rays would be. To verify some of the results that I'm seeing, I can go directly to the poured casting that it represents my magma that we ran. Then you're like, oh, you either hit your mark or you just missed it a little bit, go back and retry. It's really cool when you can correlate what you've done in the 3D world and go and look at the raw casting and it's what you saw. During high school, well, even earlier than that, I was a tinker, I like building and figuring out how stuff works. When I hit eighth grade and in industrial arts, I had become available, I got into the drafting, pencil and paper drafting. My senior year of high school, I actually co opted in an engineering firm, and that was my path. At that time, I figured I wanted to be a draftsman. Started going to school at NWTC here in Marinette. Started the mechanical design. They were still doing boards, but we had some CAD classes. I ended up not finishing at that point and applied at the foundry. Started at Wapaka Foundry in the mill room and worked in pretty much every department. 2008, Wapaka said, hey, you know, uh, we got this tuition reimbursement thing. Next thing you know, I'm back at NWTC saying which ones of my credits will transfer. With the support of Wapaka Foundry, I was able to complete that in just shy of three years. I can't say enough about the program and how easy it is to work with the people on the tuition reimbursement. Here I am today, 22 years later. A two-year degree is awesome. Get in, get out, get working. Tech schools are great and hands-on. In high school, if you're into drafting of any kind, parametric modeling, NWTC does have a great program in their modeling field. You can either get the degree in the mechanical design or they have other certificates that are even one year that are still enough to get your feet wet. Here at Wapaka Foundry, they love to promote within. There's no saying that you can't excel all the way to the top places come a long way. I don't think there's a department that you can go into in this place that hasn't changed five times for the better. Technology is the driving force behind a lot of the change. Everybody's working together more to achieve the ultimate goal, safety. It's a great place to work. There is plenty of room for advancement. They pay a nice wage, they have nice benefits. You have a little sense of pride that what you're doing is everywhere. There's a sense of pride when I walk by and say, oh, that caliper, we made that. I love coming here every day. Every day is usually something new. I get up every morning and I'm glad to be coming in. If somebody wants to come to the world's greatest foundry, it's a great place to work. And it's a great job, really, it is.